Our only hope is to surrender. There is no way we can defeat a navy of 800,000 men. No. Their figure must have been a bluff. I doubt they even have half of that number. Even still, that is more than enough to swallow our forces whole. Besides, Cao Cao has the Emperor in his custody. We will be seen as traitors to the Han. My lord, think of your subjects throughout Jiandong. For their sake and ours, we must surrender. Master Zheng Zhao, Cao Cao may have the Emperor in custody, but that does not make Cao Cao himself the Emperor. He is simply another Dong Zhuo. As such, we cannot just surrender to such a man. That choice would do more harm to our people. You have heard our opinions on the matter. What do you think, Master Zhugu Liang? I believe there is only one possible path you can take. Join forces with my lord Liu Bei, and together we will defeat Cao Cao. Are you mad? You barely have 1,000 men to your name. What good can you do against Cao Cao's army? There is no sense in concerning ourselves with the issue of troop numbers right now. We have Master Liu Bei's leadership and charisma and my wisdom. If we add to that the courage and the intellect of the army of Wu, we can defeat Cao Cao. Your intellect? Just how big a fool do you take us for? That's enough. We are not likely to come to an immediate decision. Let us take a break for now. We shall wait for Zhou Yu's return and then reconvene. You're dismissed, everyone. I refuse to surrender. My lord. I still do not know what choice I should make. I do not wish to surrender. Yet, if we go to war and fail, then the results will be disastrous. If I think of my people, surrender may be our best option. Everyone is scared of Cao Cao. They are too focused on themselves and their family, as well as the future of Wu. However, consider this for a moment. What would happen if you were to surrender? Us warriors might be allowed to serve in Cao Cao's army. But what about you, my lord? At best, You'd be forced to live in exile, where you would live out your life in obscurity. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, Lu Su. However, I do not care what happens to me. I must decide what is best for everybody and for U. Father, brother, what would you have done in my situation? I can tell that you're troubled, Lord Sun Chuan. Thank you. Forgive me, but I overheard you talking just now. I remember something that Lord Sun Se told you once. He said to turn to Lord Zheng Zhao for domestic affairs and to Lord Zhou Yu for foreign ones. It's difficult for one person to try and take on everything alone. But if you work together, Lord Zhou Yu is searching for answers. I think you should have faith in him and wait to see what happens. Thank you. You are right, as always. This is not something I should be sitting here worrying about on my own. I shall listen to everybody's feelings on the matter in hopes of arriving at our best way forward. What are we going to do, Zhou Yu? We are warriors of Wu. Surrender should be the last thing on our minds. Yes, I agree. I never considered surrender to be an option. 
However, even counting Liu Bei's army, we only have 50,000 men. There is no way we can overcome Cao Cao with such a small fighting force, no matter what strategies we devise. Zhou Yu? I had thought that the famous master Zhou Yu would have a little more confidence. You must be Zhuge Liang. May I help you with something? Nothing in particular. I just thought that you and I could have a little chat. In this time of great crisis, you appear to be taking on the fate of your entire kingdom on your shoulders. What is it that makes you do that? Let me ask you, why is it that you serve Master Liu Bei? He is a man constantly on the run, with no land to call his own. That is not what I would consider a lord worth serving. I see. I understand now what you are saying. Then, I suppose that is your answer to the question I posed. Yes, it is. I see in Master Sun Chuan the qualifications of a man fit to rule the land, much like you see in Master Liu Bei. Additionally, he carries the hopes and dreams of his family and friends that have fallen along the way. I understand. Then... All we need to discuss right now is how to overcome Cao Cao. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. I've yet to devise a strategy to defeat Cao Cao. I doubt that very much. I am sure you have already thought of several possibilities, Master Zhou Yu. I am sure, for example, that you have considered using a fire attack. You are a terrifying man, Zhuge Liang. I can see why they call you the Sleeping Dragon. A fire attack would help our cause considerably, if successful. By burning his ships, we could prevent Cao Cao from ever crossing the Shangjiang. However, the winds are quite weak at this time of year. I doubt we could expect the flames to spread properly. Is that so? However, Master Zhou Yu, I wonder if you have noticed that the winter this year has been unseasonably warm. They say that the winds over the Shangjiang change at such times. It is said that a southeasterly breeze blows under such conditions. The wind would be in the direction of Wulin, where Cao Cao's forces are encamped. What? Are you certain about that? The vicissitudes of fate, the lay of the land, the united hearts of the people, all the elements are lining up in our favor. Master Zhou Yu, now is the hour when we must combine our strength and wage war against Cao Cao. Zhou Yu, if what he said is true, it could be our chance at victory. Hmm. On one hand, it is a plot that relies on the fickle nature of the winds. But if it could open a path forward for us... We might even be able to beat Cao Cao. Okay. Zhou Yu. Thanks for coming. Currently, we are divided into two camps, surrender and resistance. I would like to hear what you suggest. Very well, here is what I think. Cao Cao's army is large, but it includes former soldiers from the armies of Yuan Shao and Jing province. I suspect there are problems with leadership and morale. It's an army overly reliant on sheer numbers. It's not a cohesive unit like most fighting forces. Furthermore, Cao Cao's army is not used to fighting on the water, which gives us a decisive advantage. They are also traversing the Shangjiang in the middle of winter. 
I imagine many of them have taken ill as a result. Cao Cao's army is not invincible. An opening for us to attack will surely present itself. Therefore, given these facts, it is my opinion. We should go to war with Cao Cao. W what Zhou Yu? Have you lost your mind? Zhou Yu, do you really think we can defeat Cao Cao? Yes, based on Zhuge Liang's advice, I think we have found a way to overcome Cao Cao's superior numbers. You're crazy! We'll be slaughtered in an instant! Master Zhang Zhao, this is not a choice between surrender or resistance. It's a choice between Cao Cao and our lord. Which man will emerge victorious over the land? I refuse to accept Cao Cao as that man. I side with the ruler of Wu, Master Sun Chuen. What? Zhou Yu. My, my lord. My lord. I have made my decision. Wu shall join forces with Liu Bei and defeat Cao Cao. From this day forth, I shall consider those who oppose this course of action to be traitors to our cause. The time for the final battle is upon us. Everyone, lend me your strength so we may create a new future for Wu. I shall cut down Cao Cao where he stands. I'll be here if you need me.
Master Sun Chuen, I must express my gratitude to you for agreeing to form this alliance with us. I should be the one thanking you. I am honored to be your ally in this battle, Master Liu Bei. And I believe this is your sister, Lady Shang Xiang. I am delighted to see you again, my lady. I am happy to see you as well, Lord Liu Bei. Let us put our best effort forth in this battle. As much as it shames me to admit it, I'm afraid my forces are small in number. We may not be as much help as you had hoped. We will do what we can, of course. Master Liu Bei, we would never stand a chance at victory without your help. Thank you for agreeing to stand with us. Excuse me, but I must be taking my leave. I have to see to the battle preparations. Of course. I will see you again shortly. Together we must bring judgment to Cao Cao. Our showdown with Cao Cao approaches. We must go back and check our preparations again to make sure nothing has been missed. The closer we are to the enemy's ships, the more potent the fire attack will be. Huang Gai will pretend to defect to get close to them. In order to make this defection convincing, we will need to give Huang Gai a beating in front of the enemy spies. I have gone over the details with him. Now we just need to carry out the plan. Go with Tsai He and Tsai Zhong to Huang Gai's side. They're starting the execution of Master Huang Gai? I still can't believe it! What? Master Huang Gai is going to be executed? I need to be there! be my friends and this is how I'm treated that's it I've had enough of this place oh you pain me master one guy master Cao Cao would respect you Wow somebody even lazier than I am marvelous you fight with strength as well as cunning I hear has fallen for the bait. Master Huang Gai has begun his preparations.
The enemy spy, Zhang Gan, has employed the services of a messenger. We're planning to use him to deliver this forged letter. Cao Cao's officers, Zhang Yun and Tsai Mao, are in secret communication with us. I believe that's what the letter said. What is this letter? Could it be a confession of love? You want me to take this letter? But tell me, whatever for? Yes, I do work for Lord Young Gun, but that doesn't mean I work for free. So much. Thank you. I will make sure to get this done. Ah, you need me to give this to Sao Cao's forces, saying it's from Lord Young Gun. You there? Yes, you. Will you? I see. Okay. Are we ready for the upcoming showdown? I must check and make sure. It looks like Cao Cao's army has fallen for our false report. I imagine Sai Mao and Zhang Yun will both be executed after this. Our plot was a success. It looks like the enemy has bought Wang Gai's defection. Okay, this is the time to rest and ready our mind and spirit for what lies ahead. We must be prepared for the coming battle. It seems that Cao Cao's fleet has begun making its way south. So they've made their move. When will we launch the fire attack? Setting the fire trap now would be ineffective. I require a little more time. If we succumb to the enemy attack now, all of our preparations will have been for naught. We must hold off their attack until we are ready to launch the fire attack. I understand. Tell our men that we must endure the coming enemy assault. The final showdown has arrived. We shall use our fire attack to burn down Cao Cao's ships. The most efficient way to burn the ships is to make sure they're tied together. For that, it might help if they're worried about seasickness. I'll start by taking out any naval troops weakened by the rolling waves. Then, Cao Cao will have to do something about it. Wait for the proper moment, and then launch our boat. Everybody, we just need to hold out until then! Lord Sai Mao and Lord Shang Yu have been executed as enemy informants. Hold on! We have to fight without the two of them? On water? Impossible! The time has come!
men are struggling with seasickness, and now the enemy approaches. This is most unfortunate. <laughs> hey! Enemy! The enemy is attacking! I feel too sick to fight. Something to prevent this seasickness. The troops look as ill as I feel. Wow, somebody even lazier than I am. Marvelous. You fight with strength as well as cunning. My head is hurting too much to fight. It's never been this bad before. Our men are not used to being on the water. We need to find a way to help alleviate their seasickness.
everyone to defend this area. Shall we start the plan to taunt South South's forces? We're ready to launch. Understood. We'll get a rise out of them. Don't worry. Hey, South South! If you want a piece of us, come get it! Their attempt to taunt us is pathetic. They must realize they need a desperate plan if they hope to win this battle. It is time for us to crush our weakened opponent and claim our victory. All units, advance on the enemy main camp! Master Huang Gai, are you going to surrender to Cao Cao in that ship? But the ship is loaded with oil and grass. What a peculiar cargo. I see. Material stolen from the U. Your hatred is strong, Master Huang Gai. Yes. Let's stop suspecting Master Huang Gai. It seems his surrender is real. So you would face me in battle, would you? Very well. I will not be defeated, no matter what you are scheming. Now, bow down before my ambition. Where are you?
Master Hong Gai, are you going to surrender to Cao Cao in that ship? But the ship is loaded with oil and brass. What a peculiar cargo. I
I will not be defeated, no matter what you are scheming. Now, bow down before my ambition. stand before me. You shall pay for your audacity. Face me in battle, would you? Very well. So, what am I going to do with you? Think I'd let you get away. Haven't the southeastern winds started blowing yet? Zhou Yu, we cannot wait much longer. If the winds don't pick up soon... Wait. Did the direction of the wind just change? Master Zhou Yu, the wind! The winds are blowing, just as we anticipated! My lord, give the order to march! Okay! Order the forces of U to crash down on South Tsao like a hurricane! Yes, my lord! 
All units, prepare the fire attack! We shall sink Cao Cao's navy to the bottom of the Shangjiang! Master Huang Gai, get ready to launch the fire ship! Understood! This is gonna be the greatest battle any of us have ever seen! Just wait, Cao Cao. The flames of Wu shall engulf your ambition whole! Let's go! This battle's ours for the taking! Master Huang Gai has shown us the way. Listen, men of Sun Wu, have courage! It's time for us to defeat Cao Cao! <laughs> Now we have been running, but not anymore. Just wait, Cao Cao. I will have your head on a spike. chance to claim Cao Cao's head. We must catch him before he can flee to Cao Ren's side. We must defeat Cao Cao before he can meet up with his allies. All units, begin the pursuit immediately! Their camp is on fire! It worked! But Shouldn't the fire be larger than that? Maybe because preparations for the fire attack were blocked by the enemy. Ooh. We made it away from the fire. Oh. We're just lucky it didn't reach our ship. You're right. If the ships had been linked, then they would have all been lost. <laughs> simply can't express how amazing you are.
cannot allow Master Cao Cao to fall in battle here. Quickly, begin our glorious advance to meet up with the main unit. This is as far as you go. There's gonna be nothing left for you but ashes when I'm done. to launch our attack. It shall change the course of this battle. Retreat in a graceful manner. Master Cao Cao, please be careful out there. All right, that's the spirit. We can use this momentum to chase down Cao Cao and secure victory. <laughs>
something good will come out of this yet. I'll go and put an end to him myself. Yeah. The enemy's momentum is too great, but I must not be defeated here. how amazing you are.
Now that it belongs to us, who's gonna look after this place? Report! Lord Salren awaits you! <laughs> this battle will be won if we can meet up with Salren. If we can't, then we are as good as dead. Mistake at such a crucial moment. Yeah. This is the greatest shame I have ever heard. The enemy is desperate to claim my head. I think I'd let you get away. However, if we make it through here, victory is all but assured. I knew you'd be coming this way. Prepare yourselves. It's impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty stomach. Wow, somebody even lazier than I am. Fine work! You're not too shabby! Yeah, all right. I need everyone to defend this area. We're going to secure this area. Everybody, forward! Wow, somebody even lazier than I am. Sun Jian, so this is what your children have become. Impressive. Don't think you've got away safely yet. Your head will be ours before the day is through. This is not getting any easier. We need to hurry to Tsao Ren's side. Sal managed to elude our pursuit somehow. However, it'll be some time before he can recover from this defeat. We have an excellent opportunity to build up our forces while the enemy's unable to move. This is our chance to make a play for the land. <laughs>
Cao Cao's army has pulled back. It seems we have won this battle. You fought magnificently, Master Sun Chuen. The courage displayed by the men of Wu was most impressive. <laughs> you weren't too bad yourself, Lord Liu Bei. Isn't that right, brother? Please desist, Lady Shang Shang. You must not praise me when I do not deserve it. It embarrasses me. Unfortunately, we let Cao Cao get away. Yes, but that was to be expected. All we needed to do in this battle was claim victory over Cao Cao's forces, and we have done that. Yes, I could not agree with you more. You are right. We should savor this accomplishment. I am relieved that we successfully defended Wu's territory. That was most impressive, my lord. I only wish Master Sun Jian and Master Sun Si could have seen you in action. Everyone! There will be a grand banquet to celebrate our victory. Tonight, we shall eat, drink, and be merry until the sun rises! Oh, that's what I like to hear! I'll invite my friends and really make this a party to remember. Master Sun Chuen, please try not to let yourself get carried away this evening. Master Zhuge Liang, I must thank you again for your cooperation. Because of you, we were able to protect Wu from Cao Cao. Not at all. I simply provided what support I could for Master Zhou Yu's plan. We owe this victory to the courage and intellect of the men of Wu. My only regret is that we were unable to slay Cao Cao. It does not seem to bother you, though. You said previously that it was to be expected. It's almost as if you knew that Cao Cao would survive the battle. Yes. I anticipated that Cao Cao would survive. Besides which, it would be troubling for us were Cao Cao to be killed just yet. Now, if you will excuse me, I must take my leave. It would be troubling if Cao Cao were to be killed. Just what are you planning, Zhuge Liang? <laughs>